Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I hear from many constituents who were laid off two or three years ago that they haven't been able to find work, or if they do find a job, it doesn't use their skills. They want to retrain, but can't find short-term programs that will get them back to work quickly to pay their bills. What government strategy ensures education programs offered by community and employer collaborations are supported through economic diversification, coal community transition, and other programs to increase opportunities for people to get back to work? Honour Minister of Economic Development, sure. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I'll thank the member uh, for the very timely question, an important question. There's a number of initiatives that our government's been rolling out through not only my department, also the Ministry of Labour and others to help uh, especially workers, whether it's in retraining, uh, developing the right tools and skills to be able to go back, uh, back into the workforce, as well as a number of initiatives to support uh, our job creators, our businesses around the province to get back on their feet. We know that small business is the economic engine of, uh, of this province. Our government has been steadfast in our commitment, uh, and we will continue to look at ways to support workers uh, through a variety of tools moving forward. First supplemental. Given the Rainforest Alberta and Calgary Economic Development have worked with employers to create a program called Evolve U that meets employers' needs for work-ready developers now, and given there is currently no government funding to address the immediate needs of the tech sector for full-stack developers, not coders, will the Minister of Advanced Education commit to covering all or part of the tuition for innovative programs such as Evolve U that have been designed to address the ongoing shortage of tech workers as identified by Amazon and others? Honourable Minister of Advanced Education. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the Honourable Member for the question. Of course, uh, uh, this legislature has before it uh, Bill 2, the Growth and Diversification Act, which commits to creating 3,000 new technology spaces in post-secondary institutions. Uh, and in our budget that we brought forward, of course, we committed uh, millions of dollars to funding those spaces and funding the short-term uh, training programs that the member referred to in her previous question. Uh, Mr. Speaker, as far as the details go for uh, uh, providing additional funding, I advise the honourable member to uh, stay tuned. Second supplementary. Given Evolve U is a great example of GBA Plus focused program development that is intentional about inclusivity, and given that speaking to underrepresented communities in tech reveals they have the largest hurdles to overcome, and given diversity offers a distinct competitive advantage to anyone looking to diversify and export, why have there been no reported metrics and no tabling of gender-based analysis of legislation passed over the last three years? Honourable Minister of Service, Alberta, and Status of Women. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. For too long, women in our province have faced barriers to work, unequal pay, and high levels of violence. And this is no different when we look at the STEM uh, sector. In fact, there's additional barriers to women getting involved in the STEM sector. And that's why we include GBA plus analysis in all of our ministries and all of our departments. And so there's an incredible amount of examples where GBA plus has contributed to the work being done, including the legislation brought forward by the Minister of Economic Development and Trade which includes additional incentives and credits for uh, hiring diverse populations of individuals into exactly STEM sectors. Thank you.